RTC SEM CLI client now provides support to modify and list the properties of a workspace, stream, component, baseline and snapshot. You have to use the workspace property set property get and property list commands to modify and list the properties of a workspace or a stream. Workspace property list command lets you specify multiple workspaces and streams for which to list the properties. The property list command displays only those properties which are set on a workspace or a stream. You can notice that for one of the workspaces, the output does not contain the description property. You can set the value of a particular property for one or more workspaces or streams using the workspace property set command. The help for the property set command lists the valid properties that can be set on a workspace or a stream. You can control access to a workspace or a stream by setting the own by and visibility property to an appropriate value. When setting the visibility of a workspace or a stream to a team area or a project area, you have to indicate if the given process area identifier corresponds to a team area or project area. To know more about how to control access to a workspace or a stream, visit jazz.net and search for controlling access to source control. Similar to the workspace property commands, you have the component property set, property get and property list commands to modify and list the properties of a component. Component property commands also lets you list and modify the properties of one or more components at a time. You can see the valid properties that can be set on a component in help for the component property set command. User access to a component is controlled by the owned by and visibility properties. When the component is owned by a contributor, you can make the component visible to the members of a project area by providing the project area identifier in the visibility property. When the component is owned by a team area, you can make the component visible only to the members of that team area by specifying the hyphen s option when setting the owned by property. You have to use the baseline and snapshot property commands to modify and list the properties of a baseline or a snapshot. The only difference between these property commands and the workspace and component property commands is that you cannot modify or list the properties of multiple snapshots and baselines at a time. The valid values that can be set on a baseline or a snapshot are name and description. You can download the latest version of RTC SEM CLI from jazz.net. You can also post your questions in the jazz.net forums. Thanks for watching this video.